New details now about a reported luring case along with new video. This morning, police were working to see if two different cases were connected involving attempted abductions. These reports were made in Holly Hill and three miles away in the Shady Oaks Mobile Home Park. But just hours ago, we were told they don't seem to be connected. News Six's Vanessa Ariza has been working through the details and reports all day long. So, Vanessa, what are police telling you? Well, Matt, police say, like you said, these don't seem to be connected, and that's thanks to video that was released just hours ago. Now, initially, a mother had said she was here Sunday with her daughter at this Murphy gas station. She said that a man attempted to uh, reach in the car at her 14-year-old daughter, wondering and curious and worried that this sounds very similar to another incident that happened that same day earlier in the morning. She contacted police, but that video is helping with these two cases. You are looking at surveillance video from the Murphy gas station along Nova Road from Sunday evening. In it, you see a man walk up to the passenger side of a car door, attempt to open it, and when it slams shut, he puts his hands up and walks away. That car belongs to Delisha Pastel. Her 14-year-old daughter is the one who slammed the door shut. I thought he was just looking for drugs and he just went to the wrong car. It was when she went to social media and noticed the report of a possible luring incident three miles away from where her incident took place. She told police the description seemed similar, but this video shows otherwise. Tonight, Holly Hill police don't think they're connected to the incident that happened early in the morning here at Shady Oaks Mobile Home Park. My son's having nightmares. He's having problems at school a little bit for the last two days. Thomas Smith said his son and his friends were approached by an older white man offering them candy. He wanted to give them candy if they would get into the vehicle. And my son says, stranger danger. And that's when he ran to the house. Now, Volusia County deputies are working on a composite sketch to release in connection to that incident that took place at the Shady Oaks Mobile Home Park. A representative with the sheriff's office says while it is not illegal for a person to offer candy to kids, it is rather interesting and a bit alarming. So that is why they want to find this man, talk to him and see what his intentions were. Matt. Vanessa Ariza live for us. Thank you. And keeping our kids safe is very important to all of us. That's why on ClickOrlando.com, we've posted information from experts on how your kids can avoid dangerous situations. Just look in our top stories.